Warning! Before proceeding to view the rest of this video, you may want to set down any hot drinks that you are currently drinking. You may also wish to aim your face away from your computer device if you are currently eating something so that you do not spew food matter all over your computer. You have been warned. Let us proceed. What's going on, people? I tried to do, do this live, but it's showing low network connection speed or some junk like that. Anyway, Professor E. Good morning, Professor E. Before we proceed to slam our heads against the wall, I just wanted to thank you. Thank you for being the best you out there. And I encourage you to not make any more videos. Maybe you all know who I am. And... I'm going to do some science experiments today to, to further prove that the Earth's flat. Awesome, Professor E. I really like science experiments, but I would like to p just put something out there. Instead of calling that video a science experiment proving Earth is flat, maybe you wanted to say a flat Earth believer science experiment showing Earth is flat. Take it or leave it. Now, as you all know, sometimes on Earth, sometimes it rains. I'm sorry. Um, rain? What's rain? You know, time, time. Water comes out of the sky, droplets of water. Even ice. Ice comes out of the sky sometimes. Oh, I see. Um, thank you. That saves me from having to Google it myself. Well, also, have you ever noticed you got ice falling out of the sky? Waterfall in the sky, and it lands. It lands on your vehicle hood. What happens? What happens to what happens to the ice? It stays on the hood. Is your hood flat? No, it's got a little bit of roundness to it. Why does the water stay there? It's called surface tension and friction. But I don't have to tell a professor that. I mean, I didn't know what rain was. Obviously, we had to be told. You know, <clears throat> I mean, it makes perfect, perfectly no sense because if the earth was round and your water landed on the hood, like this right here, landed on the hood, why doesn't it all run off? Far be it for me, doesn't fail to second guess a professor, but just throwing it out there, surface tension and friction. The correct question, however, is why did almost all of it roll off? Why did only a small part of it stay on the hood? That's the correct question. Silly me, but then again, I'm not a professor. Okay, well, there's, there's step number one. Okay, <clears throat> now, I have this here tomato. Stand back, folks. The man has a tomato, and he's about to use it for a science experiment. It symbolizes the planet Earth, Sun. Earth, Sun. Moon, all that junk. Okay, if the Earth was really round, and it rains... What's going to happen? What, look at that. Look, look. Where'd all the water go? I do believe I shall stab myself in the eye and go all the way out the back of my head. Why don't we have rabid droughts everywhere? Do that again. Look at the water. Oh. Because once wasn't enough. We had to do it twice. Damn, that stings a bit. I'm oh, sorry. I can't work the fucking mouse with just one fucking eye. No wonder Australia is so dry. Now we know, huh? So, Professor E, Australia is dry because the water ran off. Listen, folks. 
It's right there. Proof's in the pudding. I got my hand. It's flat. It rains. Oh, look at that. Look. Look. The water stays. I get this feeling that as a little kid and a young adult, this guy pissed in his hand and said, Look, Ma. Is there, is there water on Earth? I think there is. So, my hand's flat. Thank you, Professor E, for doing that experiment twice because I just didn't get it the first time you pissed off. I mean, poured water on your hand. Now that you've done it twice, I get it finally. Water. The Earth is supposedly round. All the water runs off. I find the stunning logic of that irrefutable. It's not even wrong. Round, huh? Let me tell you something. That's your brain on drugs. That's your brain on drugs if you really think that the damn Earth is round. Oh shit, this Vogon just destroyed the planet Earth. I really hope he doesn't read us some of his poetry also. That's all the proof you need to know out there. Anyways, appreciate it. Now you know. Well, golly, I sure appreciate it, Professor E. Now I know. I also know something else. It is very likely this person votes and has guns. <laughs>